and welcome to C Vlog. So in today's C Vlog, I'm going to be giving my top tips to get blog features. So I've been featured on quite a few blogs. I've been very, very fortunate. Um, and it's been something that I've slowly worked towards over years and years and just, you know, all that jazz. And so I thought that I'd give my top tips today to get featured on blogs. So if you're a musician and you are looking for help, if you're like, oh my goodness, I've been contacting these blogs, but I'm not getting anywhere, or you haven't even thought about contacting blogs, but it's something that you're a bit like, mm, maybe I'll do it, maybe I won't. These are some tips for you. So I really hope that they are helpful and that you enjoy today's video. So kicking off with number one, the easiest tip of today, contact them. So a lot of musicians don't tend to look up the contact of a blog. They just kind of look at the blog and they go like, wow, I'd love to be on that. And then they just forget about it. You know, gigs get in the way and things like that. And you just kind of just forget to actually contact them. And the best way to contact blogs is to either email them. I think that you can send, you can still send things to their address. So like you could write to them. Um, that's often a very good idea. Um, or you can call them if they have a telephone number as well. But the best thing to do is just to get in touch, touch base, say hello, introduce yourself. Um, and that way you're on their radar. They know who you are and maybe they will think about featuring you if they like your song. And number two, find the right blog. So this is very, very important. Probably the most important bit of advice that I will give you today. Find the right blog. So when I was first starting out, I just wanted to be on any blog. I would email all of them and expect to get a feature. I would be like, yeah, that will do. This is a really cool blog. I want this one done, done, done. But unfortunately, this isn't the most effective way to actually get a blog feature because you could be messaging, I don't know, let's say that you're a pop artist, so I'm a pop artist. Um, if I'm messaging a heavy metal blog, they are not going to feature my song. Um, or if there's a blog and it says multiple genres, but most of the things on there are kind of rock or jazz or something like that, you probably most likely won't get a feature. You need to look for the right blogs, the blogs that are playing music that is similar to you, artists that are similar to you, and that way you'll just fit right in. They'll literally look right at your um, email, they'll look at your music and they'll go, wow, yes, you will fit. So that's the most important tip that I can give, find the right blog. Don't just email all of them. And you can also look up artists that are similar to you and look at the blogs that they've been on and then you can contact them as well. So that's a little tip for you there. And number three, build a relationship with the blogs. So when I was first starting out, I would just email places. If I got a feature, I would say thank you and then that would kind of be it. But as I got featured a little bit more, I was so grateful to be featured multiple times and I ended up striking up conversations with the blog like the people that were in charge of the blog. Um, and as a result, I even had um, one of these wonderful blogs feature me for free. They didn't charge me or anything like that because some blogs do charge you. Um, and it was so wonderful because it was at a time where I was like, I felt like I was, I don't know, I wasn't getting many features and there they were like, you know what, we've built a relationship with you. We like your music so much that we're gonna feature you for free this month. Enjoy, thank you so much for your music. And I was just so taken back by it. If you build up relationships, because the people behind these blogs, they're people and that's what, you know, we tend to forget as artists, we're just like, oh, you know, let's just contact them and bombard them with emails. Um, but they're people, you know, and they like the music that they like. And if they don't pick your music, that's okay. And if they do, then great. And so that would be my advice is build a relationship, chat to them, tell, you, tell them what you like about their blog. Um, tell them, you know, the things that you're interested in, um, ask how their day's going, things like that. Just build a relationship because that's probably one of the most important things is connections in the music industry. And number four, give information about yourself as well. So when you're emailing, obviously telling your life story might be a little bit long, um, but just talk about yourself. Just say how long you've been um, doing music for, uh, what you're working on at the moment, the things that you have coming up. Um, it's just all very, very good to do. It shows that you're actively pursuing a music career rather than just, yeah, here's my single, enjoy. You know, it kind of gives a bit more depth into who you are as a person if you kind of talk about what you're doing, why you're doing it as well, why are you in music, you know, do you do it because you love it, do you do it because it's just a hobby or something that you just 
just fancy doing or giving it a shot you know just uh, get in touch with them and give a bit more information about yourself um, even send upcoming gigs and maybe the blogs can come and watch you that's also a really really good idea so yes give information about yourself that is another very important tip and Finally, number five. This one's also very important. Do not make the same mistake that I did. Um, make sure your socials and your links are up to date. So I have a bit of a story with this one. So I linked my latest song that was gonna come out to a blog in the hopes that it would get featured before release. But I hadn't updated my socials. I hadn't posted in a while. Um, and so all of my content was just focused on the last single that I was doing. There was no promo for my new one at all. Um, and the blog kind of noticed that and they actually got in touch with me and said like, your, um, your socials aren't really up to date and stuff. And I think one of the links that they clicked sent them to a completely different channel as well because um, I can't remember why I linked it in the first place, but it was like something that I did with someone else and then it went there and it didn't take them to where they needed to be. Um, and so make sure that your links are up to date, that your socials are up to date, and um, that you've got professional images, um, that you've got promo going out so that they see that you're actively promoting your single. Um, that's also very, very important. Um, so yeah, those are my top five tips for today. I really hope that this has been helpful if you're looking at reaching out to blogs. If you have any questions, then leave them in the comments below and I will do my very best to answer them. And also, please consider subscribing to this channel. That is really hard to say. Um, I am a full-time musician and I give this advice out just on my YouTube. I do it every month. I also do a CVTV, which is where you can follow me around, me being my everyday weird self. And I also post covers and original music too. So if you love that kind of thing, then please consider subscribing. And thank you guys so much for watching today. Until next time, bye.